Hey Scorpios, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm coming back to do your weekly readings. This is for Scorpio. Okay, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Okay, you guys, the card literally just flew out. Ace of Wands. <laughs> Woo, who are you passionate about? Okay, someone passionate about you? Scorpios, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. What's going on with Scorpios? I can barely shuffle. You guys, wow, Scorpios. Okay, okay. <laughs> Nine of Cups just flew out, and let's get one more for Scorpios. Thank you guys for tuning in. I don't even know if I finished the intro, but this energy is strong. So here we go. <laughs> We're just starting, okay? Like I said, Ace of Wands, some, someone here is very passionate, wanting to start something now, okay? It felt like urgent, Someone is ready, okay? Feeling the heat, feeling the passion. Nine of Cups, okay? You're their de desire, you're their wish. Wow. Now, of course, as I always say, keep an open mind as the cards come out. Stories could be flipped or reversed. So put the characters where they go. Knight of Swords. <laughs> Someone kind of hectic, okay? It's getting, it's getting, it's getting kind of hectic. Yeah, uh, it's getting hectic. <laughs> someone is rushing in they're rushing in with that knight of swords energy Ooh, <laughs> let me lick you up and down eh! okay mm. all right Ooh, yeah someone's having a hard time a hard time who is having a difficult time five of wands is here with the ten of wands with the three of pentacles this has been on someone's mind. Someone has been feeling burdened or overwhelmed, okay? Possibly wanting to work things out. Three of Pentacles. Now, just like I said on Taurus's read, I'm saying it on this reading too, and I'll be saying it on the others. We are hitting Mercury retrograde tomorrow, May 10th, okay, through June 2nd. So remember, it is the return of the exes. So... <laughs> Now, some of you may want that, but just get ready for, you know, them unknown calls to be coming in and weird text messages and, hey, you, how are you doing? That You know that weird energy <laughs> when people be trying to check up on you, you know, who you haven't seen in 17,000 years? Yeah. Okay. So get ready for that. Okay. Ace of Wands. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. <laughs> For Scorpios. Why is Ace of Wands here? Ooh, okay. Wow. We have the Five of Pentacles and Two of Wands. So someone feeling left out in the cold with that Two of Wands energy. Someone trying to make a decision. You know, should I go down this path? What should I do? Someone, oh, uh, someone feeling like they missed an opportunity with that Five of Pentacles energy. Yeah. Will of Fortune, wondering if they should move this forward. Do we have a future? Two of Wands. Oh, what should I pick? Someone could be, with that Ace of Wands energy, someone could be trying to pick between two wands. Should I have the Ace of Wands with this person or the Ace of Wands with that person? You see that energy? Where well, there's two wands here, okay? <laughs> Ooh. Ace of Pentacles, whoa, at the bottom of the deck. Two aces now. Yeah, Queen of Cups. Could be you, Scorpio. Water sign energy coming through with that. Four of Cups. Yeah, Ace of Cups, you guys. All these aces are coming out right... Oh, gosh, right at the beginning of your reading. Yeah, oh, okay. Wow, there's a lot of energy happening here. Okay, there could have been some type of ending from somebody being deceptive. There could have been a third party, three of cups, three of swords. Okay, some type of ending happened. Four of swords is back there. Okay, in the past, seven of pentacles, ace of cups. This could have been very painful. I see these as tears sometimes. Okay, when I get the ace of cups, it's overwhelming emotion. Okay, so the Ace of Cups is not just about love, but also about emotions coming out. Someone could have a tearful um, message to say to you. Someone is very emotional about what they need to say. Because right, uh, right after the Ace of Cups, we have the Eight of Wands. 
So someone wanting to tell you how they feel, okay? Someone has their eye on you. Uh, Four of Cups, okay? Could be afraid of rejection, but they want to tell you how they feel with that Queen of Cups. And there we go with the Ace of Pentacles. So let's get to the Nine of Cups. What is this? De okay, desire? Okay. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Okay. Uh-uh. What? <laughs> All of these wands, okay? Some of you are dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Ooh, okay. So this could be a person who drinks. I, I do always get that energy with the Nine of Cups, but I also get desire, wish. Um, so someone could be going through that right now, drinking, thinking about you, Seven of Wands, being a bit like a butthole, like... <laughs> stubborn okay someone is stubborn with the seven of wands five of wands being a bit combative or this person it could be worried about competition and this is overwhelming to the to this person someone is overwhelmed by the thought of competition um someone could be combative themselves very combative okay Ooh, they could start a fight what's this five of wands king of cups yeah, Page of Pentacles, the Magician. Could be dealing with the Gemini for some of you. Pisces energy is here with the High Priestess. I want to show you that Queen of Cups again because now we have a pair. King and Queen of Cups. Okay, someone fills it with you and they, they want this. <laughs> they're manifesting this. They want to talk. Okay, they're manifesting communication. Okay. This person, they, they have a trick up their sleeve. They want to talk and they, they are coming in with a lot of emotion, okay? Could be very emotional when you talk to this person, meaning this person could bust out in tears. They could, you know, start the waterworks and, you know, get you going, you know, because you may feel their energy and, ooh, okay. What is that 10 of wands? Show me the devil energy. Could be dealing with the Capricorn for some of you. That devil energy is coming out. Yeah, seven of swords. Ooh, someone is burdened. I feel by what they what they've been holding from you or what they did in the past, possibly. Ten of Cups is here. Nine of Wands. I feel like someone is just dead set on having this Ten of Cups with you. They're dead set on it. Yeah, they're not. Yeah, I still feel the connection. Six of Cups, Scorpio, I still feel the connection. Nine of Wands, I'm not letting go. What's this, Knight of Swords? Okay, oh, what was that? I thought something flipped over. What is this Knight of Swords energy? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit for Scorpios. Two of Swords. Ooh, someone coming in. Ooh, okay, King of Wands just flew out in reverse. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Someone is upset. This could be upsetting you. The moon is here. Ooh. Oh no. What's that king of wands in reverse? Whoa. Okay. Knight of cups. The offer is coming in. But this could be someone that has upset you already. This could be someone you're not attracted to as well. When I get the King of Wands in reverse, okay, I always say this is my sexy king. So that could mean, you know, legs are closed, you know, dick is down, you know, in reverse, <laughs> not attracted, okay? This could also mean that you are not taking action towards someone who's rushing in toward you because we have Knight of, Knight of Swords, remember that hectic energy, and Knight of Cups. Someone is coming in with offers, okay? Could be more than one person. Two of Swords with that Two of Wands that I showed you. Could be two different people or more than two offers coming in, okay? And it's like, yeah, with that King of Wands in reverse, it's like, mm, I don't know if that's what I want with the moon, okay? There's a bit of fear here. Oh, okay. The tower just flew out. Your energy, Scorpio, somebody is, I feel like somebody is going to be mad. They're going to come in with this big bang energy and wanting to talk to you. They could want to travel to come see you or be sending you a bunch of messages with that eight of wands. 
Yeah. Who is this person? Show me this person who Scorpio is dealing with. Knight of Wands. Now we have all these knights. Knight of Swords, Knight of Cups, now a Knight of Wands. For some of you, uh, could be uh, someone a bit younger than you. For others of you, this is a person who's determined to offer you something. What does this person intend to offer Scorpio? What are they coming in with? Okay. Woo! Ace of Pentacles and Lovers. <laughs> okay, Scorpio. <laughs> Someone is coming in with some passion. Gemini energy is here with the lovers. Ooh. Eight of Cups flipped out as well. Yeah, I feel like someone's been longing, yearning at a distance. Eight of Cups. Who is this person who Scorpio is dealing with? Hermit could be a Virgo for some of you. Someone who's been in hermit mode, not talking at a distance from you. Someone's been thinking about this connection. Eight of Pentacles, okay, something that didn't work out, okay, maybe someone didn't put in the effort when you get the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, okay, maybe someone, their focus was off, okay, they didn't put their focus in this connection and they're hoping to work this out, Five of Cups, yeah, they're down on bended knee, there's a bit of regret here with that Five of Cups energy, how does Scorpio feel? about this person or this connection divine spirit holy spirit oh okay all these flipped out in reverse <laughs> okay i'm not sure if they were all supposed to be in reverse but that's how they flipped out five of cups in reverse no longer feeling sad okay you not wanting to give or you did not give in in the past to this connection could be you your energy not giving Okay, some of you, um, if you had something with this person, you could have felt like your time or your money was wasted. Okay, four of swords um, in reverse. Okay, so some of you have come out of that state of healing, like you've healed, you're good, you've healed or you're trying to heal and move on. Judgment in reverse. You may have felt like uh, it's a poor decision or something was a poor decision in the past. Or it may be a poor decision to go back to someone from your past with judgment in reverse. Okay. Woo. How is Scorpio feeling? Let's get a few more. How is Scorpio feeling? Four of Cups. Yeah. You could be feeling rejected. Someone could have rejected your offer or you could have rejected this person's offer. Oh gosh. What was that? Three of Pentacles. Yeah, maybe you felt like something was going to work out at one time. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Woo, we have Justice, Libra, and uh, Cancer is here. Justice with Chariot in reverse. Yeah, for some of you, uh, this is a divorce. Something happened with the divorce, okay? Something with courts, things were tied up in court. Something got stuck or wasn't moving forward, okay? Yeah, some of you having to divorce this person. Oof, it's a lot of heavy energy coming through. So I really see like three different stories happening, to be honest. I see like three different stories happening. Some of you have a choice between a lot of people, okay? <laughs> That's for some of you. Others of you, you have someone who's like on fire for you. They want to be with you, but they've been in hermit mode. Then for others of you, this is someone you divorced or you broke up with who's wanting to come back and rebuild with you. But I'm feeling like you don't want to rebuild with someone from your past, someone who you were in a relationship with or a marriage with. So like I said, put the characters where they go because I'm feeling like those three different categories, okay? What is Scorpio going through? Okay. <laughs> going through with this person. Someone is watching, stalking. You could be watching this person. They could be watching you as well. Okay. Someone is watching this situation and not wanting the other person to know what's going on with Scorpios and this connection. Okay. Someone has an addiction to keeping their options open. These two cards came out together. I believe addiction was in your last reading. Yeah. 
Someone could have been dealing with codependency, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block or restraint. And this says, keys on a ring, many options, decision. Remember, that's kind of the recurring theme. Decision, unconventional, string along, one night stand. So someone could have had an addiction here, could have been in the past or, or currently going through some type of addiction. Okay, where they like to keep their options open. They like to sleep with a lot of people. This could have been a reason why some of you are going through a breakup or a divorce with someone. Yeah. For others of you, I feel like someone is watching you because they feel possessive over you and they don't want you to choose someone else. Okay. That's why we have sunglasses. Someone watching they're kind of controlling over you and possessive and they don't want you to have all these other options, okay? Just trying to tie it in for you. Anything else, okay? <laughs> Separation, yeah, sadness, missing you. Remember I said someone is yearning for you at a distance? Um, thinking about you, yearning. <laughs> the yearning is literally on the card, wow. Unsure about the future, unsure of the future. So yeah, someone that kind of, that first story that I was kind of getting, someone's passionate, they have a lot of feelings for you and they've been in hermit mode, okay? Someone's been in hermit mode. The runner, someone could have ran from this connection or is currently running, okay? Runner in codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. So someone needs to lay their pride aside, uh, get out of their ego, stop having fear of intimacy, and really connect with you, okay? Let's go back to this deck. What's the potential outcome for this week? Potential outcome for this week between Scorpio and this person. We have the Knight of Pentacles, an offer, but it's coming in slow. Five of Swords, someone is being strategic on how to offer this. Yeah, King of Swords. They want to communicate, but trying to figure out how to do it. Yeah, they're confused. Seven of Cups. <laughs> They're trying to figure it out. And that's a lot of options. Okay. Seven of cups. Someone's trying to figure out. Yeah. Who should I take a leap of faith with? I love someone, but I have a lot of options. Okay. I need to make a decision. Could be you or your person. Okay. If. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was about to say. If this person could say anything to you. Someone is into gambling lottery. Okay. Could be you or your person. Someone is saying, you broke my heart, okay? Someone in this connection is heartbroken. I choose to put my kids before this connection for now, okay? So someone could have family responsibilities right now. You or your person. Someone is saying, I'm in love with you. Yeah, we saw that. <laughs> we saw that energy. Someone here, wherever you fall in those categories that I mentioned, someone here is in love, Okay, let's get some Kippers, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. What is, okay, what does Scorpio need to know? Wow, despair just came out in reverse. This reminds me of the Five of Cups. At the uh, top, it says 32, 3 and 2 is 5. It reminds me of the Five of Cups. So with that being in reverse, it's like someone is wanting to come out of that feeling of being left in the cold, feeling like there was a missed opportunity. Could be Five of Pentacles as well, that card that I showed you. Missing you, wanting to come out of despair, okay? Someone could be changing their financial situation as well. What does Scorpio need to know? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. What does Scorpio need to know this week? Pathways. Something is getting ready to open up. You may have a choice of what path to go down. Which path should I take? What does Scorpio need to know? Community. You guys, some of you are well known in your community. You have a community around you, family. When I say community, it reminds me of family being around you. You may uh, have a support system around you while you've been trying to make a decision about something. Some of you have things tied up in the court. That's what I was saying. Uh, some of you are going through a divorce. Some of you could be going through a custody battle. I'm getting that as well. Some of you going through something very public with community. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Give me just a second. Ooh. Okay, what shout out was toil and labor and false person? Okay, so some of you, maybe you found out someone was a liar when I get false person. 
someone was a liar and it's been very difficult to deal with this. The truth is going to come out for some of you that someone did not have your best interests at heart. Okay. They could have gambled this connection away and someone broke your heart. Yeah. Someone could be uh, wanting to confess that to you or say that to you. And what else flipped out was mature woman and message. Some of you receiving a message from someone older than you. Some of you want to send a message to a mature woman. Could be mature man as well. Okay. Male or female doesn't matter. But someone wanting to send uh, a message to someone. A message is coming in. Main male is at the bottom of the deck. Someone wants to be the main male in your life. Wow. Okay. Is that it? Any other deck? Okay, let's come to this deck. What's the advice for Scorpios? Advice for Scorpios in this situation. Ask your angels. You guys, if you pray, if you meditate, listen to your intuition. Listen to what spirit is saying to you. Get by yourself so you can hear. Unlikely is here as well. Some of you, like I was saying, you may uh, you may choose to move on from someone. You may be upset with someone. Some of you are fighting with someone this week. Something could be very public that the community finds out about you, your relationship. I was feeling that as well. Some, someone could be going through a, a very public breakup or separation. Anything else? Something just popped out. The answer is no with an exclamation mark. Yeah. Woo. Let go. Woo. Scorpios. Woo. Whoever this person is trying to come back into your life, you may want to cut it off. Okay. That's why I was saying retrograde is bringing up the energy of excess. So everyone's reading this week, I can guarantee you is going to be about someone from the past trying to get back into your life, weasel their way back in. Coming in, I feel with an emotional message. I did say that someone could have an emotional message for you, getting the waterworks all together. And some of you need to say no. <laughs> Spirit is like, no, it's unlikely. Okay. And let go. Some of you have to let go of the, the past or um, Spirit is encouraging this person to let go of you. Alrighty, Scorpios, that is your energy for this week. Don't forget to like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Also share this video and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monet Tarot. I look forward to hearing from you. I will see you guys in your next reading. Take care. Bye.